So let's talk about the arithmetic of decimals. And the most important thing to remember about the difference between arithmetic with decimals and the arithmetic of whole numbers is that there is no actual difference between the two of them. The problem arises when you fail to understand what you're actually doing with whole number arithmetic, and it leads you to errors in performing decimal arithmetic. So, for example, let's take the problem at 173 plus 25, and if we just understand how to do addition by pushing digits around on paper, uh, we know that we're supposed to right align the add ends, and we add them together, that's 8, 9, 1, and there's our sum. The problem is that when we try to do the same sum with decimals, well, I know I'm supposed to right align the add ends, so I'll add them up, and I'll get the sum, and the decimal point goes someplace in here, I don't know exactly where. And the problem here is two things. One, I have no idea where to put that decimal point, and the other one is that it's actually impossible to recover from this as a wrong answer. Now, the question to ask then is, well, why do we do the right alignment of the add ends? And the reason we do that is we're really aligning the units. And this would be clear if we used a place value chart. Uh, but otherwise, we note that in our addition 173 plus 25, the 3 and the 5 both indicate the number of 1s. So for convenience, we want to actually place them in the same column. So there's our 173 and our 25. The 5 should go in the same column as the 3, and the 2 is the number of 10s. And so when I add them together, I'm going to do my addition correctly. If I add 1.73 and 2.5, in this case, it is the 1 and the 2 that represent the number of 1s. So I'm going to make sure that those two numbers end up in the same column. And now when I add, I am adding my hundreds, my tenths, and my ones. And I can perform this addition correctly and get my correct answer. Again, there is no difference whatsoever between decimal arithmetic and whole number arithmetic. The only, di the only thing that changes is we have this decimal point that tells us where the different units are going to be placed. So for example, let's consider the problem 12.05 minus 4.87. Because there's no real difference between decimal arithmetic and whole number arithmetic, everything we did with whole numbers still works. So what can I do with this? Well, what I might do is I might use uh, counting up to find the difference. And so here, this difference is going to be, I'm going to start at 4.87 and go up to 12.05 and see how far I have to go. So what can I do? Well, 12.87, I might note that if I go up by 13 hundredths, I get to 5. If I go up by 7, I get to 12. And if I go up by an additional 5 hundredths, I get to 12.05. And so altogether, I've had to go up 0.13 plus 7 plus 0 0.05, 7.18. And this is actually a fairly standard cashier's trick because I have 487, 13 cents gets me to 5, $7 gets me to 12, 5 more cents gets me to 12.05. And so here's a fairly standard cashier's trick for evaluating such a difference, 7.18. Well, I could do that in an entirely different way, 12.05 minus 487. I can use this using counting past, and say so I want to subtract 4.87, so I'll start by subtracting too much and returning the change. So here, 12.05, I'll subtract 5. I'll subtract more than this amount. And that takes me down to 7.05, except this time I'll return that 13 hundredths, that was too much, and that takes me to 7.18, and so my difference, 12.05 minus 4.87, is going to be 7.18.